Welcome to Goddess Garden. And today I'll be taking you guys along with me to do a small harvest for whatever that I have that's already ripened. So come along. These are uh, strawberry tomatoes. I bought the, the pack of seeds from Baker's Creek. Um, they look like they're ready. I don't know if they're supposed to get any darker than this or lighter. No, darker. Um, but I think I'm just going to pull these right now. This is my African basil right here. I'm just gonna harvest some because you know what? I like eating. I like basil by itself. It really does taste yummy. And I thought I just like adding it to uh, tomatoes, making a salad or that's so that's so cliche. Not a salad, but a sandwich basil will bring out the flavor honey all right y'all i have to get my eggplant and Get around this uh, the spider. All right, so right here I'm gonna be harvesting some Malabar spinach. This is heat tolerant. Like if you are in a really, really, really hot zone, but it's heat tolerant, it grows through the sun. It's, it grows through the summer. And yeah, they're really good. The thing is, is that if you don't like this um it's a, like a clear substance in there like it kind of remind me of like um okra you may not like this type of leafy green but it grows through the summer and it actually reseeds itself like there's some that's right here everywhere around here that actually reseeded itself but that's cool though i didn't even plant these plants the malabar spinach it just reseeded itself but i'm cool with that Free food. And I did actually say seeds. Mm. Make sure you rinse all your um your your produce off, y'all. Cause you guys see this spiders right here. But I'll most definitely be rinsing these off. Got spiders everywhere. Which that's cool though, because they eat some of these these bugs that I just don't want it to be in my garden. They doing their thing. Some more Malabar spinach. And this is a vining plant, you all. So it does trellis up, or it does need some type of trellis. So it's right now, it actually uses, right now, it actually uses one of my plants to trellis up. And also, I guess like, um, it uses like um, sunflower to actually trellis too. So let's move on for, all right, so right here, this is uh, my basil. And I'm gonna be harvesting some of the leaves. I like actually saving my seeds, so I let all my stuff go into seeds. I don't mind um, my basil going to going into seeds. So let me pull this off. Um, do a chop and drop. But yeah, like I'm just gonna harvest some basil. And 
like I said, I like this stuff by itself. But I use it in so much stuff. It's a lot of stuff that, you know, just making even dry, um, making even dry seasonings with this. So let them, you just let it leave dehydrated, making it to like uh, crush it up and then making you got some uh, Thai dry basil. There you go. <laughs> All right, so right here we got some, um, I think this one is the mojito mint. I like eating these by itself and at that I also like putting these in tea. Literally just boil some water, let it steep in hot water. I let mine, the longer, the better. So I guess like some, some may say the minimum is five minutes. Like I say, the longer, the better. You get more flavor out of your herbs. So yeah, it's just, I really like eating it all by itself right off the leaf. That tastes so good. Your leafy green, your green, you need green. Dang, I, this is actually going into seed. And I like seeds, so I like having my stuff going to seed. But neither list, I can actually just eat this off the vine. Super good. That's good for your body. I'm gonna leave this one alone. Hold on. Y'all, y'all see this? I got way too many spiders around here. You gotta get back in there, buddy. Not on my food you gotta harvest. So. This is my harvest right here, y'all. I'm gonna go around there. I'm gonna see if I can find some more other stuff. Let's see. All right, you guys, you guys see this right here? This is mustard seed. And I let all of my stuff go into seed. This is a mustard seed mix. So they're just going into seed. Once they turn crispy brown, they're, that's when I pull them. And that's when I'm uh, going to harvest the seed off of here. So just letting them just continue on doing their thing. See if I can wrap it around here. Possibly even tie it up. Right here, this is chocolate mint. This is my favorite mint. No, it's not. I haven't tried all the mints, so I can't say it's my favorite. So, but I do like to use this as well in my teas and my cooking. But the leaves are so good by themselves. Like, if you don't like mint, this is kind of like a, a um. This is similar to a mellow mint. Super good. All right, you guys, so this is my little small harvest for today. And like, I still have a lot of Malabar spinach back there, but this is what <laughs> I'm using. So we got some eggplant right here and some strawberry tomatoes. That's the variety name. Some basil, some mint, 
going on but this is just for now and until then and that's it from goddess garden